Hey everyone, Mango 7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7, and this is kind of an important one. This is gonna show all of my equipment that I redid yesterday, uh, all of my units, how I built them, why I built them, where I plan to use them, and a couple other things. So before we get into this, do note that uh, don't feel bad if your equipment doesn't line up with mine or anybody else's because if you are not spending multiple hundreds of dollars, like two to three hundred dollars a month at least on stamina, on leaf packs, uh, directly or indirectly, you're going to not have anywhere near as much gear as other people. It's just a thing that's going to happen. You're going to be nowhere near. And uh, myself, who is currently spending approximately like five dollars a month, if that, probably a little less on average, I cannot compete with uh, a lot of my colleagues, a lot of my friends, a lot of people I talk to. And a lot of people I ask uh, for advice from. So going into this, don't be worried at the amount of level 90 gear you have versus somebody else. Uh, there's friends I've talked to that have like 60 plus converted things, uh, not converted, reforged things. And I have like 10 or something like that. So don't be worried. Don't try to compare it to somebody else's and just do your own thing. Um, you're going to lose a lot of battles now because of that. But it just... It is what it is, and it's something I really learned while doing this. Probably the biggest lesson I, I got trying to get my characters up to par. So, as you can see here from this Twitter screenshot, by the way, follow me on Twitter, like, comment, subscribe, all those shenanigans. Please helps out so much. Uh, I am at 853 out of 450 uh, for equipment. That's where I started my progress yesterday, and I just unequipped everything and started from scratch. So let's get into this here and just see where i ended up so first off is my arbiter vildred i actually didn't really change anything on my arbiter vildred he's got 290 pieces of gear here 4450 attack uh 160 speed a little over 100 percent crit rate i think 300 percent crit damage and uh that's about it i'm pretty happy with him he needs some mulligoras as well we'll try not to talk about mulligoras this time around um but I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, some people build their Vildred a lot faster, but I just don't find a need of it. The way I use my Vildred, 160 is just about perfect for him. Uh, and I'm I'm really happy with this setup here. And I, I'm going to hover over the gear like this. And if you ever want to know a piece of gear, just pause the video. Uh, next up, probably the biggest or second biggest addition to my team this time around is going to be my Spectre Tenebria. My goal for her was to be able to use her in Guild Wars, specifically on defense. So I wanted her to survive a little bit more. That's why she's got 11.5k HP. She's got 1230 defense, a decent amount of attack. Not enough, but a decent amount. Decent crit rate, decent crit damage, uh, a little bit of everything. She's also on Proof of Valor to help her survive a little bit more. I noticed when a lot of people are fighting Spectre Tenebria, they just try to SSB her down. And mine isn't really going to die to SSB too much here. So this is the gear she's sitting on. A um, little bit of stats everywhere here. And again, only one eye level 90 piece here, but uh, it's a pretty good piece, I would say. We then have our Charles. Charles is one of the units that I built after a lot of others. So I had a huge problem building my Charles. And uh, that's another one of the big things I ran into when I was doing this is after my first three to four DPS, I couldn't realistically get some of these uh, DPS stats up while maintaining over 80% chance to crit. I just couldn't do it after the first couple. Um, so this is how I ended up here. I ended up with an attack set. And again, this is pretty nutso gear. And I'm still not happy with the stats because he's just going to roll over. He's got no defensive stats. Um, this is another pair of boots I tried to use, but I couldn't get anybody's crit rate high enough. So I wasn't sure how to handle that. Uh, and then he can get a little bit of an HP boost here, like uh, 1k HP or a little more there from this helm here. And then maybe fix up his crit chance or maybe get another HP boost or crit damage. So I'll bring this up to 15 when I can as well. Next up, we have our Violet. Violet was one of my afterthoughts as well. He's just kind of sitting on a speed crit set here. Um, nothing really special. I just wanted somebody I could consistently bring against certain units like Dizzy maybe, where I was fast enough to do something. I was tanky enough to not die and i was enough damage to win over time um this is mainly going to be an offense unit i also like violet talisman on mine just because he's sitting on uh 215 speed and as you can see a lot of these units are sitting here with a uh, plus 12 gear just because i i ran out of charms we then have our ml ken i didn't touch my ml ken since last time so this is the same stats as before i wanted my ml ken lots of damage lots of crit 
uh, a little bit of everything. If I could change this ML Ken, I would honestly um, lower the crit rate to maybe like 60% and just up his attack to like 44, 4500. But who knows here? Um, that's the best I could do. We then have our SSB, another one of my massive changes from last time. I was no... I had no idea how to handle this because I've been using an attack uh, SSB for a long time and it's been really, really good for me. But I wanted to switch it up a little bit, make her a little bit faster, make her a lot tankier and uh, try to focus on the drink damage instead. Unfortunately, my drink is only 80%, so one to five times I just don't do damage, which kind of sucks. And I also ended up going on a lifesteal set, not because I think she's fantastic with it, just because she can use all these stats. And I couldn't really think of anybody else I wanted to actively use SSB with. Uh, the thing holding back this um, this uh, this setup is probably the weapon. It's a good weapon, but it's still I level 67. You're missing, what, like 190 uh, attack or something like that instead. And I wanted to just focus on f uh, attack, attack uh, percent, HP, defense, speed, all those things. And I was just ignoring crit rate and crit damage. Uh, so all the crit rate I have is just like incidental here as well. Also a decent amount of effectiveness and that's it here. I did one RTA match with her and it worked really well. So I was really happy with that. We then have her Cerise. I haven't touched my Cerise since last time either. I didn't really want to ruin her. Um, so I just kind of kept her as is. I have so much fun using her. Next up, we have our Misty Chain. Misty Chain is the core of my... Uh, new wyvern 13 team it's basically the same as before just misty chain instead of alexa she does a little less damage but she uh provides some adorableness and some healing and the healing is surprisingly good uh so the way i took advantage of the healing with my misty chain was i gave my general pergus junkyard dog so uh now my pergus instead of running on proof of valor is running junkyard dog and can survive until the end of time still even without that pov uh, these are her stats here. She's only got 70% crit rate, but that is 99%. Uh, so as always, 50% when it actually matters. And the reason being is we have the Corinne uh, imprint and then we have Elemental Advantage. So she gets 30% crit rate uh, with the Corinne on my team. And these are her stats here. Uh, we then have our Commander Lorena. Just kind of filler gear on the Lorena as well. She's just going to be there for the raids and that is it. I might actually take her out of my raid team and switch somebody else in. We then have her carrot. This is another experiment here. Uh, not sure how this is going to go. I was originally trying to put her on a rage set because I really wanted to just get raw stats. Kind of like the SSB where I'm hoping for HP percent, defense percent, and attack percent. Just to keep her alive uh, with those horrible base stats. Um, so I'm using this. I, I started here and I just said F it after that. And this is where I ended up. So as you can see, I'm just going for basically just raw stats all around um, to keep her tanky enough, but damagey enough to really do something in the long run, ignoring crit rate and crit damage. Um, we then have our Cedarzorado, more filler gear for me. I will not use him anywhere. He's not fully awake and not Mulligorod. Amazing unit, just not my style. And um, specifically, not even not my style, just again, no Mulligora for him uh but if we ever get a way to enhance him without that i will be building him and my second biggest change is the addition of fallen cecilia i haven't uh used fallen cecilia since i got her she's plus 13 since i got her and i haven't touched her so this is a big change for me um not exactly happy with this and this is where i realized i was not going to compete with people spending on leafs and stamina uh, with real money, I just can't compete with them because they're all sitting here with um, either a ton of ER or a ton of effectiveness. So while I was building my units, I realized I had to either drop um, a ton of one of those stats. So like theoretically with my CC here, I would have quite a bit more effectiveness to be able to land stuff like that. And I'd be like really, really happy about it. But unfortunately, um, I'm still happy, but uh, not as much as I could. These are her stats here. Um, this is a pretty lacking piece. I also found that while I was doing this, I basically had no helms and it was the weakest part of all of my builds and there was nothing I could do about it. Also, if my uh, weapons needed effectiveness or effect resistance, I basically had zero of them as well. Uh, so that is a huge problem I hope to eventually fix. There we go. 
Uh, here's my Alencia. One of the ones, again, I'm not happy about, but it is what it is. She ended up on speed immunity here. She's still going to be usable like this, but uh, I, I wish I could have ended up with better gear on her. As for our Lilius, we have her on Adamant Shield instead of my usual Bastion of Perlusha. Um, speed immunity here as well. I would like to get her effectiveness up a little bit, maybe up to like 70-80% just to make sure we land that Provoke. But uh, I just couldn't do it, so I just ended up sitting at around this much here. Give her a little bit of crit damage, a little bit of crit just to get a little bit of surprises in. We then have our A Ravi, somebody again who I did not change. Uh, she's sitting here on pretty decent gear. Like, this is a great weapon here. Just monstrous amounts of HP. There you go. This neck is a big problem, but I just don't have a replacement, so I, I can't get a counter set without using that neck. Um... And just lots of stats everywhere here, no effect uh, resistance, so I'm going with Crimson Seed. As for the Aomomo, I don't think I touched Aomomo either. Um, so these are her stats here, I don't really use her too much, she's just kind of uh, sitting here doing what she does. Uh, CI, uh, a lot of these are just filler gears, so this is one of them. I did gear up my Ox lots. Uh, I couldn't get this into a set. Like, I tried so hard to get this uh, attack piece into a set and I couldn't do it. So I ended up just using it as an offset for Oxlots uh, to get a little bit faster. He's obviously not going to outspeed anything that matters, but he's going to outspeed the things I want him to outspeed and I know he's going to outspeed while also being a little bit tanky. Not a lot, but a, a little bit tanky here. We then have her Luluka. Luluka is a uh, part of my Wyvern 13 run. I think she's going to be my next six star if a new unit doesn't come out this week. And um, just because I want a little bit more stats on her, she's really fun to use. And I just really like her. We're also using the uh, extra damage or extra attack one here. And she's running along in the uh, Wyvern 13 run alongside uh, Karin. General Purgus and um, Misty Chain, and she does ridiculous amounts of damage. And of course, 65% crit rate plus 30% because of Elemental Advantage and Corinne, so she's sitting at 95% crit rate, which is enough. Um, she needs 14% uh, more effectiveness, but she will gain 12% more from her final awakening, so um, she'll be at 63% once that's done. We then have our Crow, somebody I... Uh, just recently built as well that I didn't really have built well enough and this was another character where I realized if I wanted stats that can compare to other people I really just needed that 90 gear and the reason being uh, like I should theoretically be at like 120 130 ER I think on my crowd or a little bit more effectiveness and I just could not make it there so this is what I ended up with instead um, I think he'll still be solid, but definitely, definitely not where I wanted to. He's just going to get debuffed a lot, and that is unfortunate. Uh, and as you can see here, we have some pretty not-so-great pieces of gear on. Um, so it just is what it is with my helms. I couldn't do any better than that. Uh, could not do it. We also have our DN here. I have no idea what I was thinking with this DN. It's nowhere near enough HP, but... Um, as you can see, like, my Helms just aren't a place I want to be. 13% crit chance. Uh, this rolled 3% crit, then 3% crit on 12 and 15. So I'm pretty upset about that. But uh, overall, pretty excited to have her built here. 31% ER, 65% um, ER here, and then a little bit of ER on the boots. She's sitting at 143% ER, which is not bad here. Uh, unfortunately, only 12.5k HP, but she does have... 1700 health so i don't expect her to really get one shot uh and i expect her to do a decent amount of healing and not get debuffed so that's fantastic we then have our corinne here sitting on torn sleeve uh again this is going to be my main debuffer for my wyvern 13 team uh i have no other weapons this is what i'm sitting at plus nine um and you can see the imprint that my other people on my team are getting here and um this is what she's sitting on. She doesn't need really good gear. She does her job just fine. Uh, Rowana was another one we changed up a little bit. Uh, wasn't sure how to handle this one either. One of the main things I noticed was I really wanted a couple people with really high ER. And um, a less focus on, on tanky stats and more on ER. So that's what I'm testing out this time around. She's got Shimadra Staff with 20% here. 150% uh, base as well. 
Uh, and she's sitting on a mix set here. So she's got defense, uh, helm, chest, neck, ring, and booties here. So pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with this. I don't know if this is enough. But the biggest problem with her after using her is she gets unhealable and instantly dies. Um, and no amount of HP is really going to save you from that. My mate Chloe is the same as always here. I can't really change her. Again, the helm just feels a little lackluster, but it is what it is. Uh, the ring is my best ring. Um, this was actually one of the things I wanted to fix the most this time was getting made Chloe fast, tanky still with ER, but I just couldn't do it. Um, the most I could do was 68% ER, which is honestly like pretty similar to zero a lot of times when it matters. So um, that's a little bit unfortunate here. And this is with the imprint as well. I'm seriously considering just slating her, but um, that feels really bad after you you get her triple S and summon more Chloe's. But it is what it is. Uh, not sure what to think about this one, but uh, I use her everywhere and it works like this, so I didn't want to touch it. Uh, my Euphine here is just on filler gear. My Elfelt, um, this is where I realized after my first couple DPSs, I had no chance of building a DPS that does anything but die. Um, so like after my first couple sets of gear, I had to make a choice with my DPS. And sometimes I had an 80% chance to crit, which means I would kill 80% of the time and 20% of the time I would just literally lose because I didn't crit. And the other time was um, having that 100% crit but being down to like 220, 230 crit damage to the point where um, if I crit, I still don't kill and then I lose. So that was the feeling I've been sitting at for a lot of my DPS. So I wanted to try something a little more unique with her. So what we did was went with a rage set just to kind of see how much damage she did. Uh, and I planned to just ox lots her up. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here, but I just wanted to try it. She's got a little bit of HP little bit of defense, um, a lot of crit damage, decent amount of attack. Uh, that can still be increased as well, and that does boost her HP, but I don't think I would upgrade this any further. She's just got a little bit of everything, and it, uh, it was really hard for me to get the Rage set because this 14 speed is basically useless here. Like, I don't want that. I don't need that with this build. So uh, I would love to have something else there, and same with this here. Uh, the speed and the crit chance are kind of useless here. I don't really use either with this build because we're going to be guaranteed critting with the uh, sleep on the target too. And then we just use these pair of booties here. Uh, we then have our Purgus sitting here with Junkyard Dog. Do know if you're going to use your Purgus in uh, Guild War like I do, change your Junkyard Dog back because that's not going to help you against A Collies and stuff. Uh, but this is what I use to tank Wyvern 13 now. Um, and it works really well. The Junkyard Dog is an additional chance to just land that debuff. Uh, I would lo love to have gotten his effectiveness up to 65%, but it is what it is. Pickups, the Dizzy here is mainly for raid. And I was just like, you know what? I want to just make my raid a little bit faster. So what I did was try to get a lot of flat attack um, just to make sure we, we get enough attack to do some damage like that was my goal i know that's ridiculous but as you can see here i've got flat attack uh almost everywhere i can to try to get her dps up there 3k attack uh i mean it's gonna chip people off and why not when i'm using her for pve she's not gonna die with 12k hp 12k or 1.2k defense we then have our destina i didn't really touch her too much um, she's very, very slow, but when I use my Destina, I use her in a position where it doesn't matter that she's this slow. And 129% uh, ER is not really enough, but I can't really um, fix that too much unless I had imprints like the people spending billions of dollars to. Uh, you can tell I got a little bit frustrated with that uh, while I was undoing my equipment. Also to note now, all these imprints now show on the character sheet. Uh, so you can see the impact things have, like this 27% uh, ER on your character sheet. We actually uh, equipped Basar as well. Undecided on his artifact. He's not fast. He's not really anything. But he's there when I need him to be there. And sometimes you just kind of need a Basar. You know, like even without the greatest gear, sometimes you just throw Basar on your team and you win. So I felt like it was really dumb of me not to have him at least with a usable gear set on. 
Um, we then have our Araminta. We did gear up for this. Again, wasn't sure how to handle this. She was sitting here with um, such low base HP that she just dies. So I wanted to make her a semi-fast set with uh, a little bit of DPS, a little bit of everything, and just kind of survive, you know? But unfortunately, this is what her face is going to look like every time Charles just crits her and she dies. Um, but uh, I wanted to try her out like this. And I, I had no idea how to use her outside of this. And it was just all kind of leftover gear. Um, yeah, so this is what she's sitting on here. Just all sorts of defensive, all sorts of attack stats. Uh, we actually built Charlotte as well. Um, not sure on her artifact either, but she's just kind of sitting here. I figured I had a, a decent set to put on somebody that doesn't need crit rate. So I kind of wanted to see how much damage he would do with this with a little bit of tankiness as well. Uh, here is our Raz kind of just leftover gear as well. He get a little bit more HP from this. Um, 208 speed is all he's going to get for now. 36% ER, that's not enough either. It is what it is. We built our Sinful Angelica kind of the same as a lot of our other healers right now where I wanted to hit that 150%-ish ER. Um, and again, I can switch this to... 24% uh, more so we can up her to uh, 60, 70, 70%, 70 uh, 170 ER, which is a lot of ER, but I'm not sure if that's better than the attack for the teams I'm using her on, so I'm, I'm unsure on that. And obviously, we need to uh, upgrade the weapon as well here, but it's not really doing anything for her. Like, this is basically 9 speed, 22, um, 22 health, so uh, goes to show how much I need speed weapons because it wouldn't be hard to beat that. And if I got some um, flat HP or some uh, effect resistance here with the speed and the health, it would be insane. Uh, a little bit of effect resistance on that neck there as well. A little bit on that ring. Lots here and there. Uh, and I think this is the last one I actually built. The rest are all filler gear. We have our Tamarin just for PvE, but um, her stats don't matter at all. And yeah, that is actually it. Elena as well, actually. This is what I'm going to use with her gear set. I don't care if her gear is not really great. She does what she needs to do. Um, so yeah, that is my setup for this time around for this equipment section. I'm pretty happy with it after I, I accepted the realization that I cannot compete with higher level players. Um, higher spending players, rather. So this is where I'm happy with. There's a lot of units I do still plan to use and build, but we should be getting another free equipment when these um, buffs and nerfs or buffs come out. So that's when I'll be building my Crescent Moon Rin, who's six star already, but I just didn't feel like putting gear on her now really mattered. And uh, a couple other people. So I will never be doing this again. <laughs> I will not unequip everything and redo it again until we get some massive change to either the amount we can farm, um, uh, the amount we can reforge or something else because it just wasn't worth it for me. This took me like literally 24 hours of just mind bending hatred. Uh, so there was a little bit of frustration going in while I was doing this and uh, it was a little bit of headache inducing, but I felt like I needed to see what kind of improvements I made over the last six months or so. And I feel like it wasn't much. So um, that's why I will not be doing this again. And maybe I'll be uh, re-equipping one or two people per equipment now, but I will not be doing a massive change like this unless they give us a little bit and let us um, actually get enough changes to make massive changes like that worth it. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. As always, let me know in the comments below who you want to see used because I had a ton of really free gear. Like, I had a ton of good uh, equipment sets that I could have just put on people and tried them out. So if you're looking for people to be used, let me just scroll through here. Let me know because all of these units can have good enough gear to showcase. And as you can see, everybody F to Melissa, really sad about that one there. And let me actually go check my storage as well here just to see because uh, next for equipment, I will add in a couple fun units. And I think that's how I'm gonna start adding some more freshness so uh click on the waiting room here pavel was one i almost built right away i was really close to building pavel but again Mulagora problems um yeah so those are my units 
Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.